Thank you all for being here. It's so good to be together this morning. And how lucky we are to be together this morning. And I want to start with a very warm welcome to all the friends and family members of the graduates. I asked the seniors if they had any loved ones coming from far afield, and the answer was a resounding yes. And um, so among us today are folks from New York, New Jersey, and Connecticut, and Maine, and Boston, and Wisconsin, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Iowa, West Virginia, Illinois, Georgia, Seattle, Oregon. We even have some friends from France, though Calvin insists they're here only by accident. <laughs> so whether you've come from far away Hawaii, yes, there's someone supposedly from Hawaii, <laughs> or just from across town, welcome. We are honored to have you here, and you honor the graduates by your presence here. I also want to extend a warm welcome to my colleagues on the faculty. Good morning. To Miss Dee Dee Nachman, our school board chair. Good morning, Dee Dee. And most especially to this year's senior class. Welcome, seniors. And as we begin this ceremony, I also know that there are people we dearly wish could be here this morning, but are not. People who are a part of us, essential to us, but because of geography, or death, or some other adversity, can't be with us this morning. I'd ask that you take a brief moment of silence to call those people to mind. Thank you. We all drink from wells that we did not dig. And let us not forget those who have sustained us and brought us to the good fortunes of this good day. Whether they're seated here with us in this room or not. Some of you seniors have been here at Woods for 12 years. Members of our very first first grade class. At that time, we did not yet have a kindergarten. And as you were starting your first day of classes at Cold Park Plaza, those 12 years ago, I too was starting my first days at Woods at Cold Park Plaza. I was fumbling and bumbling my way around, trying to figure out what in the world the strip mall experiment was about. And you were just across the way, fumbling and bumbling your way around on the same quest. You probably shared some of the same questions as I, such as, why do I hear dogs barking all the time? Is, is that just me? Or I wonder if I'll get tired of the smell of pizza dough every day. I wonder if the toilets overflow every day. I wonder why that member of the general public just came into my classroom and asked where the post office was. Do you think this classroom is really wants a shoe store? Isn't there some North Carolina statute that says you can't have a bar within 50 feet of a school? <laughs> and actually, you can really flip that question and say, shouldn't there be a statute that says you can't put a school within 50 feet of a bar? <laughs> and what is impressed upon me today is just what a sweet and gorgeous privilege it is for me to get to spend 12 years of my life with such fine people as you. From you who have been here the whole stretch of 12 years, all the way to Mahesh and Kai, who joined us just this year, it is a great privilege to spend this time with you. It is more than one could ask for. So when I think of this group graduating, the joy of their successes and the pain and grief of their leaving us, well, it's, it's more than I can handle, to be honest. And I know there are people who have known, here who have known you much longer than I, people who saw you on your first day of life, people who held you just yesterday, figuratively. 
people who fed you, cared for you, and cleaned you, people who spent 18 or so years fretting over you and delighting in you. And so it's really more than any, any one of us can handle, this joy and this weight. So today we hold it together. So let's hold together for these next two hours and forget the world beyond. Forget whether you have enough food for your guests. Forget whether your relatives will get along this weekend. Forget the world of your work and your summer job. Forget your next school. Today we are here together for our last time together at Woods. So let us be here. To get us started, I'd like to call on our gentleman scholar in residence, our very young Heller statesman, rock of the high school, Mr. Richie Temple. Woo!